Hi everyone, my name is Sam. I'm the co-founder of Pori, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a members portal for your community without WordPress or writing a single line of code. If you're not familiar with Pori, we're a no-code platform for creating custom apps using your own data. Right now we work hand in hand with Airtable and you can get something up and running in a matter of minutes. But obviously if you don't have any data, then it will take you some time to put that together first. So let's take a look at what we'll be creating. Here we have a fictional accelerator program where people can apply for the program, attend a fence, and see who's hiring from the portfolio. And if you're accepted, you can get invited to the community where you can get access to resources like office hours and program perks. It's a really great way to create and share content with your community effortlessly. Now let's see how all this content is managed through Airtable. As you can see, each page is connected to a different table and is well organized, making it incredibly easy for anyone on your team to update. Anything we update here will be automatically reflected in your members portal. The members table is currently empty, but after we create our portal, we will see this being updated and members will be able to maintain their profile without ever having to get access to your table. Now let's move on to the fun part, creating the app. Click on create and give your app a name. Select start from scratch. This will generate your app and take you into the editor where you can start adding different sections into your application. After you select a block, hover over it and you will see a menu show up where you can edit the content. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste text from the example app. For the apply now button, I will go into my applications table and copy the Airtable form. Now, when you click on apply now, your Airtable form should appear. Let's also add a image in the hero block and also change the background color to black. Pro tip, you can also set a brand color by going into settings, which means things like buttons will default to this color moving forward. Cool. Next, let's create our mentors directory. Select the page selector, add page, and give it a name. To create an Airtable listing, click on add section, select Airtable listing, and choose a layout. Let's connect our Airtable to the listing. Hover over the section and click on edit listing. If you haven't already done so, you'll be asked to give your Airtable API key. This gives access to Pori to retrieve data from your account. You can find this by going to airtable.com forward slash account. Once you give access, you will see all your Airtable bases available. Let's find the Unicorn Club VC base. Now select which table you want to use. For our page, we're using the mentors table. We can also filter the data by using an Airtable view. For example, maybe you only have a subset of mentors available for this program, which you can then create a Unicorn Club view. We're not gonna do this for this example, but you can definitely do a lot of things with Airtable view. Let's create some filters to help our members find the right mentor for the business. Pori can automatically create filters using fields that are either a single or a multiple select type. For this use case, we will create a filter for skills. Lastly, let's select which fields are searchable for this listing. Let's make name and skills searchable. We are now ready to customize the layout to display content from Airtable. The first customization is the card view. Let's use name for the title, bio for the description, photo for the avatar, skills for the tag. Select detailed view and select what happens when a user clicks on the card. I want it to display a modal. Next, we can customize the detail view, which in our case is the modal. I want to display the photo for gallery, again, the name for the title, the bio for the body content, and LinkedIn URL for the call to action button. Hit save, and that's it. We now have a mentors directory. Now let's complete our application by adding an header. Let's add a logo 
add a navigation link for mentors, style the navigation links, I'm going to make it white, and use a transparent background. I'm going to make my listing have a black background. Publish your changes. Now let's give our app its own domain. I want to call it Unicorn Club Demo. The app is looking a little bit empty, but we'll pad it out with content later on. Let's move on to enabling user accounts. Click on settings and go to user accounts. This will take you through a quick setup process. The first step is to connect to your Airtable. Your Airtable doesn't have to be part of your main apps table. It's completely up to you. For us, we're going to use the Unicorn Club VC. Next, select a table that will store your users. If you recall from earlier, we're going to use the members table. Then select a field that will be used to store your user's email. They will use this to log into the account later on. Click next when you're ready. Pari will take all the fields that are from this table and create a sign up form. You can add or remove the fields just like on Airtable by hovering over the field. You can also make fields required by toggling on the required option. The third step is emails. Pari needs a reply to email to send out your welcome email and for things like resetting an account's password. Let's go ahead and write a warm welcome message. Lastly, we will need to set up redirection rules. Select which page to redirect your users after logging in. For us, it will be the mentors page. Select which page to redirect your users if they are not logged in. We're going to select the login page. Select which page to redirect your users after logging out. We're also going to select the home page. That's it. You now have user accounts enabled. Let's have a look at what this looks like on your live app. Amazing. Your users can now log in, sign up, and they will be automatically added to your members table. Let's create an account and see. The user has been populated into the members table. Perfect. Now let's head back over to Pori and see what this looks like. In the users tab, you will see all your users listed here where you can view their profile. You can also update your Airtable, the sign up form, and if you have terms and conditions and privacy policies, you can also add them to the sign up form here. One thing you may have noticed is that you can still access the mentors page without logging in. Head over to settings and select protected pages. Here you can toggle on and off which pages to hide from the public. You can also select access type to restrict who can create an account. I'm going to select invite only because I only want companies that have been selected into the program to create an account. The sign up button has now been removed and you'll be taken to the login page. And this takes us to the last step of the tutorial, creating invitation links. Going back to our members table and let's say we now have went through all the applications and these are all the people that are going to be joining the program. We can create a new field called invitation and paste this formula in. Replace the domain with your app's domain, which is unicornclubdemo.pori.app. And now every single member that gets added into this table will now have their own unique invitation link. If Looney clicks on the link, she'll be taken to this page where she can create a password. Once she creates an account, she will be taken into her profile where she can update her information. Anything she updates here will be automatically reflected in the members table. And that's it for today's tutorial. What's left is to create more content and pages for your members platform or portal, depending on what you want to call it, following the steps we just went through. I had a lot of fun creating this video and I hope you have just as much fun getting your hands dirty creating your app as well. I can't wait to see what you'll create. Thanks for watching.